Uh, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This is a production of YouTube channel Learnorama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Dev. If you haven't subscribed to the uh, channel yet, uh, I would recommend that you do so. Or if you <coughs> and if you can become a, a fan of the Facebook page, that would be good too. So <coughs> in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about. Um, we're going to learn about uh, dynamic memory allocation okay um, we are basically going to see how you could actually at runtime while your program is running you actually allocate memory so that you do not use the memory uh, you do not use the stack for your variables so let's uh, let's get started so <coughs> We have learned that you know so, so far what we have been doing is we have been creating variables on on stack. We learned before you know if you haven't watched that tutorial, you should watch that. Um, we learned before that all the local variables that you create, all the variables inside the function that you create right at the beginning of the function, all of them are created in a very specific memory location or 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 memory region which is called stack and the reason it is called stack is because it it behaves like a stack as the functions are being called those variables are all the variables are created on the stack and then that function calls another function and then its variables are created on the stack and then that function calls another function so its variables are created on that stack and when that function returns the last function returns it clears up all its variables from stack and they, those variables don't exist anymore so so if we have int x and then we have um, character c in the main function and then there is another function say void func of uh, int y and then bracket start and then you have another variable called int a and then another variable called char m and then there are there is code here for this function you know that uses a and m you know and then no i should not do that a equal to 0 and m equal to like c or something like something like that i'm just writing any any code here and then this function actually calls func with uh, some parameter x you know passes x into this parameter y and when this guy so when the m this program starts executing it starts from the main function and these two variables x and c are actually created on stack and then now let me see if I can draw this and and then so the stack looks like this and when this function main function starts its variables x and the variable c they are created right on the stack and then when this function calls func it actually goes in this this function starts executing and then its variables are created on stack right on top of of this guy's variables on main functions variable and these are called stack frames and then when this returns back and the control comes back here um, <clears throat> what happens is these variables are removed from the stack okay so the point is that those variables are created on stack and as those variables are created and as those variables are created the stack is being used so the the problem is that if we have if suppose I have a string which can have um, as many as 100 bytes so if I define it like this you know 100 characters if I define it like this you what we have what we are dealing what we, what we are saying is that we are going to allocate this much space on stack okay which is going to be 100 bytes because each character is one byte long and this will end up in allocating 100 uh, bytes which is still not so bad but what if you have a string which is like I don't know 10,000 characters long if you have such a big string it's like all, uh, 10 kilobytes almost you know 10,000 bytes and this will create a uh, it this will allocate memory space and on stack which will be 10,000 bytes long the problem is that operating system allocates so much memory space for every uh, every program 
to be used for stack and if you keep on doing that if you have practice of doing this if you in, in every function you have like long large variables created inside the function what could happen potentially is that as you call functions you may overrun stack and you may end up in you in storing val values into somebody else's stack you know so every program will have a st its own stacks and uh, and and if this is a whole space in the operating system for stacks this could be the stack space for program 1 this could be stack space for program 2 this could be stack space for program 3 and if program 1 let's call it p1 if it has practice of creating big variables on stack you know it might actually run into program 2's stack space and uh, while program 2 is going to be running it will all of a sudden see that its values of its local variables are changing for no reason and it will start crashing and uh, and all this so weird bad things are going to happen in your machine if you do that so what is the remedy for that what do you do if you know if you really have to have such a big uh, string you do, do this you define a pointer okay to it and you know always always initialize pointer to null when you de declare it okay null is basically or make it zero okay that basically makes it point to like nowhere all right and then you r use a function called malloc it is memory allocation malloc okay and what it takes is the size of how much how many bytes you want to actually allocate okay this is the syntax of this malloc operation so how many bytes do we want we want 10,000 bytes so we use 10,000 okay and then it returns a pointer or the address of the memory location wherever it allocated this space and it usually allocates it from heap it's the operating system that does it for you and it uses it from heap which is totally different memories region from stack and it returns back the address of this location and where are we going to store that address inside this pointer piece str now after this at this point after executing this f function call what's going to happen is basically uh, PSTR will be pointing to a memory location somewhere on heap which we have no idea where it is okay and that memory location will have 10,000 bytes and this pointer PSTR will be pointing to here and after this at this point you can use PSTR as if it was a string declared like this so what you could do is you could basically say mem uh, you could say str copy to PSTR comma and then whatever string you want to 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 copy onto it and this will store this string so hell inside that memory location that you allocated for this string so this is how you actually create large memories you can have really big variables here created now suppose if you want to allocate an uh, uh, an array of integers which have 10,000 elements okay so you could do this int x of 10,000 right but again this will result in huge memory space 10,000 integers okay each integer could be 4 bytes long so this will end up in allocating 40,000 bytes where on stack and we don't want that so what do you do you basically instead of creating x as a point uh, as a as the array itself you create x as the pointer px and then what you do what you do is you'd say px is equal to malloc of 10,000 okay times 4 well let me stop here and we'll continue it in the next tutorial because we are running out of time thank you so much